Hey guys, this is Sam from Key Commerce. Today I'm going to be talking about automatic updates in Google Merchant Center, why you should use them and what they are. Let's get into it. Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. I'm going to show you really quickly how to set up automatic improvements in Google Merchant Center. So I'm in the Merchant Center dashboard right now. I'm going to go up to settings up here and I'm going to go to automatic improvements. This takes me to this page here, which has the settings. So you just want to make sure that these are turned on. So what this does is it basically updates your product feed with and your shopping ads with this data of price and availability for your products, even if your feed doesn't match the website. So what does this mean? So basically, sometimes your website might update. Maybe maybe something goes out of stock. And if you're using a static feed, like a Google Sheets feed, then it's not actually gonna update on your Google Shopping ads. So you still might be showing your ads for products even though they're out of stock, which isn't the best thing. If you make sure that this is enabled, Google has the permission to basically, in your shopping ads and feed, update that stock, which is availability or price, if it changes on your website. And how do they do this? They actually use the schema markup that's on your Shopify products page. Now, I'm going to put a link in the description to another video where I go through schema markup and how to set it up and make sure it's all done properly on your Shopify store. So check that out. But that's something that's really important to set up uh, and have enabled in your Merchant Center account. I do recommend that. There's also this image improvements, which is really, really interesting, which is where sometimes if you have promotional text, overlays over your image that gets into the feed then Google then has permission here to make their own edits to the image and they use their own AI to do this it's very very interesting stuff what I like to do is sometimes I'll actually purposely put the overlays in there I know this is a bit bit, uh, bit, bit of a gray area but sometimes those products can actually perform better with that overlay in there but you've got to put it in there in a way that makes sense and that Google's okay with. So maybe the product is actually a product that people aren't buying for the actual physical components, but it's the benefits. And so you can kind of put those onto the image just to describe the product in a sense. Kind of like the packaging of a product, but you can put it there on the image in, in a sneaky way. Um, you can tr test this out and enable it. The benefit here is that if your product gets disapproved in Merchant Center, then suddenly until you fix that disapproval, your shopping ads for that product are not going to be showing, which is not a good thing, especially if you're spending thousands of dollars a day on your budget, on your ad spend, you're suddenly going to stop getting sales for that product. So this is something that you can enable and for the short term, it's going to switch out and improve that image and then you can catch it, but it's still going to show and show that ad and get you clicks for that product. And then you'll be able to log into uh, Merchant Center. You should be doing this regularly just to check your feed and you'll see that they've made that application. They've removed that overlay themselves. And then you can swap it out for a much better image. That's something that I do recommend testing out too. Anyway, that's how to set up and enable automatic improvements in Google Merchant Center. I hope that helped you. If you have any questions, just leave them below in the comment section. I'll answer them as soon as I can. Thanks guys. All right, guys, that's it for automatic updates in Google Merchant Center. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. That tells YouTube, hey, I'm making good stuff for you guys out there on the YouTube sphere. And if you have any questions about what I've gone through today or anything else e-commerce related, just leave them in the comments. I get back to every single person that comments on my videos. I read every single comment. I comment myself. It's what I do. I want to help you guys out there. If you want to see other tutorial videos just like this one, go check out my channel. There'll be some other videos here on the side, hopefully um, in the description too. But check out my channel. I do a lot of tutorials, case study videos, strategy videos on how you can grow your e-commerce store remotely. Otherwise, please consider subscribing to get more updates and more videos as I release them on a weekly, daily basis. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.